Now it's time to talk with the one and only Mr. Jay Swanky about one of my favorite things in the world, and that is flowers. Let's see what he's showing us today on Living in Bloom. So, we've bought a bunch of flowers. Now what do we do? That's one of the biggest questions that I always get. And I want to make sure that I give you some good steps that are going to help you create a beautiful bouquet. We buy a bunch of flowers and we bring it home from the flower seller. And in that bunch of flowers, there's typically a little packet like this. This little packet is for a liter of water. And there's instructions on the back so that we know exactly what to do. So I save liter bottles just like this so that I can use those to create flower food water for my flowers. I'll cut this off. And so this whole packet goes inside that liter of water. Now, some people want to be a little bit frugal about it and not use the whole packet, or maybe they want to use more than that. That's not a good idea. Always do it per the directions on the back of the packet. I shake this up and then I add it to my vase. I already have water in here today because I got ready to show you this, but this is great to keep in the refrigerator so that it'll keep it cool and I can use it to top off my bouquet. Now, this is our vase, these are our flowers. That's not gonna work. So let's figure out exactly what we're gonna do. My favorite trick is called the shortcut. And the shortcut is also a shortcut for making beautiful flowers. So. This is gonna look great if my flowers are about that long. So I've measured those with my hand. I'm gonna take my bypass cutter, which is the best thing to cut flowers with. I never use a scissors, and I always make sure I remove any of the leaves that are gonna fall below the water line. So after I've cut it, I'll grab a few of those leaves out, and then we drop it into this bouquet. Now, you'll notice that it kind of went out a little bit far. And I wanna show you that it's okay to make a second cut. It's okay to come back in here and say, you know what, I wish that was just a little bit shorter. And we'll drop it down inside there and see, look at how much better that looks. I've got those flowers a little bit shorter, or if you have one flower, you can even bring that out and trim it off a little bit shorter and stick it back in as well. This is a great trick because the shortcut is always an easy way to make sure that we'll have beautiful flowers every time. Every day, because our vase, we can't see that water, go in and make sure to check it with your finger. If it needs more water, get our trusty vase of flower food water and go in and top off the flowers. I love a bouquet like this because it's full of beautiful long lasting flowers. We have roses and chrysanthemums, we have Alstroemeria, which is also known as the restaurant flower because you see it in all the time in restaurants because it lasts so long. Status, daisy pom-poms, and even a carnation, Dianthus green trick. We're gonna be able to enjoy them as long as possible. So remember, the shortcut is a shortcut to beautiful bouquets and a great way to be living in bloom. Celebrating vibrant people, captivating places, and remarkable things. This is Living West Michigan.